Northwestern hosted its version of the game show Wipeout on Saturday for the university's 25th annual design competition. Ten teams of McCormick undergrads built autonomous robots and competed in Robot Wipeout. They went head-to-head -head in matches that pitted one team's programmed robot against a remote-controlled robot operated by an opposing team. So this year, uh, the robot that's being driven by a human has a cup on it. And the cup is very shiny, so the robot that's being programmed to find it is using laser sensors to uh, find the shiny cup and then go try to knock it over. Dozens of spectators cheered on their favorite robots. Many of them were engineers themselves. Most of the work I did for my engineering degree was more theoretical. So seeing all this hands-on stuff with things actually doing stuff physically, you know, it's, it's really cool to me. And it's really cool to see a lot of kids here, and a lot of people, different people, all being interested in this. The kids were by far the most enthusiastic spectators. Many of them watched all three and a half hours of competition to see which team would be crowned champion. I think I liked the robots that knocked the, um, the cup off the, uh, moving of the other moving thing. A robot named Subsequentus ended up wiping out the competition. The winning robot was built by three football players along with swimmer Stephen Schull. Uh, the inspiration behind the design was the Batmobile and this was done entirely by Matt and uh, Graham and they did a great job with it. I think it looks pretty cool. For Multimedia Storytelling, this is Megan Yee.